Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be my second look for my Zodiac series. Today we are going to be doing Aquarius um, because I started with Capricorn. If you haven't seen that video, go and check that out. I started with Capricorn because I was most, I had the most inspiration for that and then I thought it's just, it makes sense to just do them in chronological order now. So we're moving on to Aquarius. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this today. As always, all the products that I've used will be listed below as well as all of my social medias. Make sure you go and give me a like and a follow on them and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and paint my face. Aquarius born are shy and quiet, but on the other hand they can be eccentric and energetic. They are highly intellectual deep thinkers that love to help others. They are able to see both sides with no prejudice which makes them great problem solvers. Although they are able to adapt to the energy around them, they also need time alone away from everyone and everything to restore themselves. People born under Aquarius see the world as a place full of possibilities. They can perceive the future and know what they want to be doing in the next 5-10 to 10 years. Aquarius is an air sign and so use their mind at every opportunity. Like air, Aquarians don't have a single clear shape and seem to defy categorisation. Colours typically associated with Aquarius are light blue and silver. With no mental challenges, they become very bored and lack in motivation. They often feel limited or constrained. Aquarius born have a reputation for being cold and insensitive, however this is just their defence mechanism. They need to learn to trust others and express their emotions. Aquarius are unconventional and if given the opportunity to express their talent can achieve remarkable success. For this makeup look I wanted to create a look that was progressive, unique and inventive. For the colour scheme, I stuck to a very basic colour palette of a light blue and a dark blue to represent the opposing personality traits. I used flecks of white within the makeup to bring more life and dimension. So to start, I have created a very natural base. Um, so I prepped my skin very well with a facial oil, a moisturiser, an illuminating primer and a pore filling primer. And I've also applied a uh, an illuminating product onto the tops of my cheekbones and the highest points of my face and then I used a very very light coverage foundation and blended it in with a fluffy brush just to make sure that it was as light as possibly could be and now I'm going in and spot concealing using a highly pigmented Dermacolor cover. Now I'm using a light concealer shade just to hide the dark circles underneath my eyes and to highlight, highlight my face. I'm using a very small amount of this because I want the base to look really dewy and light coverage and not heavy and cakey. And I often find when I'm trying to do a natural base makeup I use the majority cream products because they just look more natural and as much as possible I try and use my fingers to blend stuff in. So now I'm going in with a cream blush and I'm applying quite a lot of it on my cheeks and my temples. And then I'm going in with a pink toned highlighter to complement the peachy pink blush that I've already applied. And as you can see I've applied it and distributed it with a brush but I am blending it out with my fingers. This just makes sure all the products melt in together to make it look more like skin. And now I am very lightly setting my face using a pressed translucent powder um, and I'm using a, a fluffier brush than I usually would and just using the tiniest, tiniest amounts just where I need it. So I put some underneath my eyes and on my T-zone. And now I'm going in with a bit of powder contour, just very lightly, just to give some more shape to my face since my hair is tied back. 
and I'm taking it down the bridge of my nose as well. And then just to re-intensify the colour, I'm going back in with a powder blush just to add more colour. And the same with the highlight. Now for brows, I had set them in place already with some soap and I'm just going in with a brow pomade and just filling them in as needed. Um, I didn't do too much because I still wanted to maintain quite a natural looking base. So in general for this makeup look, I wanted um, it to be very artistic um, because that's an area that Aquarians thrive in. So. I used dots and lines within the makeup to show their ability to see both sides of a situation without favouring one. So each element has a of the makeup look has an equal um, an equal view, I suppose. And I didn't want there to be too much shape and structure because Aquarians typically defy being classed as one solid thing. Um, and this also helps to represent their element of air and how it's very free spirited. So to start on the eyes, I quickly placed my contour shade into my crease and just at the underneath of my brow just to get a wee bit more contour to the eye. And I've now created a half cut crease shape with a white base, blended out and set it using a white shadow. And now this is where I'm starting all my line work and my dot work. So I'm using a blue super colour from Krylon. And I'm just, I lined the edge of that white first. And now I'm going in with, these are actually nail art dotting tools. Um, but they just help me get like the perfect wee circle. So I'm using these dips in the paint. And I'm first going in with the dark blue and then the light blue. And I'm concentrating most of the dots at the base where the line is and then fading them out so it's kind of like a gradient. And then once I'm happy with the two blue shades I'm going in and just adding tiny wee flecks of white, not too much but just enough to get a wee bit more dimension going on. And I'm going to apologise as well for the terrible camera angles. I think when I'm doing this I forget that I'm filming and so I just don't show the camera what I'm doing half the time. And now I'm creating the lines, so I wanted these to kind of represent the sign of Aquarius, um, which is the two wavy lines, but I didn't want them to be too structured again. Um, very different to the last look we did. Um, this is a bit more free and artistic looking, so um, I just created lines going outwards from my eye out towards my temples and I brought that back underneath the eye just to create a wee bit more of a balance but I didn't want the lines to be straight I wanted them to be wavy and have movement to help represent air And then with a the lighter blue, I'm going in and creating more lines, but I'm weaving these amongst the darker blue lines. Um, it's kind of just to show, I used the two colours because I wanted to show how there's two, Aquarius have two moods and two personalities within their beings. And I wanted to show how they work together to create the people that they are. The best advice I could probably give when doing line work like this is just take your time and um, go back and forth between each eye because then it makes it easier. I didn't want this to be too matchy and too symmetrical. 
I still wanted it to have a slight bit of symmetry. Um, but yeah, just take your time. Like, no rush. Unless you are in a rush, but I wasn't. <laughs> And now again I'm going in with the dots, so I'm doing these coming away from the eyes, so the ones on the eyes are going away from and the ones underneath are going away from. Um, and I'm just doing the exact same process, so I'm starting with the dark blue, fading it out, starting it at the, the lines and fading it out from there, and then I will be going in with the light blue as well and the white. So now just to finish off the eyes, I'm applying just a black liquid liner, um, just a very thin line across my top lashes. And now I'm doing something that takes forever, that's a common theme with these videos apparently. So I'm just applying some mini rhinestones, um, just for some sparkle. Um, and a wee bit more dimension. I just I felt it was really flat, so I wanted to add something special. And I mean, Aquarius are they can be eccentric, and what's more eccentric than Diamantes? So I'm just using some lash glue and just dotting it about. And then this is a wax pencil that I use just to pick them up and place them. So I didn't put too much on. Um, but I just kind of scattered them amongst the dots that I'd already applied. So now I'm just going in with some black mascara just on my upper and lower lashes. And then applying a nice pair of falsies. I didn't want to do falsies that were too big because then it would hide the eye makeup. So I used a very, I mean they're small to me, but they might not be small to other people, but they're quite pointed. Um, they're not as flary and I thought they looked really nice with it. And then just to finish off I'm going in with a kind of neon aqua which like ident is identical to the blue that I've already used just on the lower waterline just to kind of match all the eye makeup together. So for the lips this is something that you should never do don't ever apply concealer to your lips because it looks terrible but there was a reason I did this. So for the lips, I wanted to create a similar look um, because although I wanted this makeup to be, I'm doing air quotes right now, simplistic, um, it had to be very bold because that's what Aquarius people are all about. Um, and so a simple lip just would not cut it. So I wanted to do some lip art. So I just wanted my lips to be blanked out and then I used the same blush that I used from before just on the centres and now I am, or I was, going around the outside with a contour colour just to make them look a bit more plump rather than using a lip liner. And now I'm going in just with the same paints um, and creating a wavy shape over my lips. So again with this, just I'm speaking as if someone is going to go out here and copy this, they, that no one is going to do that. Um, but for any line work, just take your time, um, this is the biggest piece of advice. And if you're having trouble like with shaky hands, my hands for some reason were very shaky the day that I did this, I don't know why, they never are, but to, that today was the day. Um, but yeah, if you're having difficulty with shaky hands, use your pinky finger, lean it on the skin close to 
where you're working and kind of use it as a an anchor point and so I also created blue dots on my lips and then I'm going in with some wee white dots as well just to kind of bring a wee bit of dimension I think without the white it would have looked really flat so because the colors were quite similar so I don't want that and I'm going back in with some rhinestones on my lips because why not So there you have the finished look for Aquarius. As always, all the items that I used are listed down below in the description box, as well as all of my social media links. If you can make sure to give me a like and a follow on them and make sure that you subscribe to my channel as well as hitting the notification bell so that you don't miss any future uploads. As always, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye!